Hi guys, Peter from wellies.com. Uh, what I want to do today is something a little bit different. Uh, is I want to show you a product and I want to get your opinion on that product. So we're talking to a company, we met them at the, uh, at the Spring Fair a couple of months ago. And it's a Japanese based company and they make wellies. But these wellies are different. That is obviously a pair of wellies. And they are foldable and collapsible and they come in this nice neat package. You've got a nylon bag, a couple of elasticated straps that go around it, and a carabiner. So obviously the carabiner, if you're backpacking at festivals, obviously clip that onto your backpack or whatever, and you've got a pair of high quality rubber boots. So obviously you take the straps off, take the boots out of the bag, and you've obviously got, the, these are that's just the instructions there, but then you've got folding wellies like that. The, so these are high quality, you know, they're a decent, you know, good quality rubber boot. They are barefoot in style. So if you're familiar with barefoot shoes, there's no sort of thick tread on them. It's quite a thin uh, sole, a thin tread on that. The reason is obviously that means that they're able to, you're able to fold them up in a nice neat package because obviously the, the unique selling point of these is the portability so that's one of the reasons why it's barefoot i do have a barefoot a pair of barefoot shoes i quite like them uh, it's it's a personal preference really uh, whether you whether you sort of you know would like barefoot shoes but these are barefoot for, for for the portability reason more than anything so they come in Japanese sizes, so like a 3L is a, like a size 9, but they obviously go from sizes 4 to 10, I think it is at the moment. Uh, but they are a flexible, foldable Wellington boot. That is, these are not insulated either. These have got like a, you know, like a nylon lining, or a, I don't know what it is actually, I don't know whether it's polyester or it. They've got a thin lining, so they're not insulated. We are looking at different models to see if we can get them insulated. See if we can get a you know a, a proper tread on there if you like a proper sole unit on there. Uh, but what the question is? The question is if you saw these on the shelf, portable, foldable, lightweight wellies, designed for uh, when you've got you know not much space. So if you're going on holiday to somewhere where you might need a pair of wellies, so if you're a bird watcher traveling to wherever. They're ideal because they pack away like that. Festivals, uh, gardening. They're a nice, they're a nice lightweight gardening welly, basically. Uh, camping, caravanning, uh, anywhere where you've got a limited amount of space, but you need, might need a pair of wellies. Dog walking, so you could throw them in the back of the car, and you've got a pair of wellies if you need them wherever you're going. So we like the product. We're happy with the product. It's a great product. The problem we've got is how much do you would you spend on a pair of folding wellies like that? And that's what I want to know from you. So if you look at this product and go, yeah, that's a good quality product. I'd spend £80 on it. I'd spend £40 on it. I want you to uh, follow the link. There's going to be a link along with this video. And it'll be a quick sort of questionnaire on it. And, and basically that'll help us bring this product to the UK market. Okay, so check out the link below uh, and I look forward to receiving your feedback and I look forward to bringing these in. We do like them, we just need a little help with the price point on them. Okay, cheers guys, thanks, bye bye.